Larson and Rice will bring them out of turn number four. They've each the VP Fuels making power point. The green flag is out. This one's underway. Well, we'll see if Josh Rice, we know he can run the cushion. We'll see if he can do it here at Falls. Down the back straightaway. Kyle Larson slides up in front of him. Down the back straightaway all the way to Rick and Anita's. Here comes Josh Rice. Whoa. But it's Kyle Larson with a race lead. He Young just money's got hung it. with that slide oh, job. They just slid all the way up the bank. Larson never flinched, took the lead, and Rice is not going away quietly. What a battle as they work down into turns three and four. Josh Rice down to the inside, Kyle Larson to the outside. Larson's still your race leader. Put some distance between him and Tyler Erb. Now gonna go after the six of Young Money. Caution is out. And Caution rears its ugly head for the first time in this one as three laps in the books. Three laps are complete. I don't think Rice is going to go away. No. You know Tyler's going to mix it up. Ooh, yeah. This one's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. And Bobby Pierce is moving up quickly. Pierce already up to position 13 after starting in 19. Here we go. Pretty cool shot from the drone. Kyle Larson, Tyler, going to throw a slider at Josh Rice. Young hands on the bottom. Here comes Scott. Wow. Johnny Scott. Out of New Mexico, moving on the bottom as well in car number one. But it's Young Bunny showing the way. How about this battle for second? Chase Young has really got shuffled back out of a transfer spot all the way back to fifth, almost six, as Ziggler was working on him. And now three wide, yeah. Opie and Squirrel and Ziggler going out. Look at Opie throwing a slider at four. Shirley coming from the back as well, trying to come to the front. He started back at 11th, sixth row, trying to come to the front. Johnny Scott, meanwhile, on the bottom, trying to take the transfer spot away Caution. from Young Hands. He's got it. And Mike Spatola may have issues in car 89. And what world are we living in? Yeah. Larson back to the lead. Here we go. That was kind of a crazy choice, but I guess it worked. Rice on the bottom. He's got the number two spot. He'll slide up the baggy. Tyler will go right by him like he was standing still. Johnny Scott goes to the inside of Rice. Here comes Young Hands. Three wide for the number three spot and almost a battle for the lead. As yeah. Tyler is coming. Johnny Scott going to go to third. Scott's looking really good on the bottom of the speedway. Well. Tyler Herb has got the transfer spot to the redraw. He'd like to stay there, but here comes Bobby Pierce. She's up to fifth from 19. Chase Young Hands is next on the hit list, and that's a transfer spot to the PDC. Boy, the 11 of Josh Rice thought about a slider might have cost him as Young Hands reeled him in as he lost track of the one of Tyler Herb. Young Hands, we'll see if he drops low. He will. There's Bobby Pierce. Both of those better watch out because here comes Bobby Pierce. All of a sudden, Pierce a transfer spot, yes! From 19th to 4th, Bobby Pierce, and he's not done yet. There's gonna have to be some bold moves made here in lap traffic. We'll see what Josh Rice does. He slings it in there underneath the lap car. Trout, but Trout, doesn't let it by. Pierce is there, young hands there. Rice gets by him down the back straightaway. Three laps remain. What a battle for this third and fourth spot. But it's still Josh Rice, Bobby Pierce up front. Young Money's got half a mile to go. Bring us home in a thrilling VP race fuel showdown feature number four, Rick. Kyle Larson, one lap to go. One away from going to the redraw to shot at the pole tomorrow night. He'll go down the back stretch, heading to turn number three for the final time. Kyle Larson's going to win the fourth showdown. Tyler Erb is going to join him in the redraw. Coming home in third and a great job done by Josh Rice. Bobby Pierce from 19th will make the big dance. So he has climbed out of the car, young money, Kyle Larson. Hannah Newhouse is there. And the Prairie Dirt Classic, one of Kyle's favorite events. Excited to have you back here. Man, you and that Longhorn, you look like you were finding grip in places that no one else could. If that trend continues tomorrow, how do you feel about your chances to double down and do back-to-back -back PDC champions? Yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be really sweet. Um, I finished second in this deal last year, uh, so we'll have a better starting spot for tomorrow than we did a year ago. So um, my car felt really good there. I, I don't really know how close they were to me or not, but I felt like I put some decent laps together up top. And then as I caught traffic, I, I started to slow my pace down a little bit too much and making mistakes. And about that same point, I started feeling some rubber as I had slid across, which I, I think is why I was getting a little bit tight um, so was able to find that and kind of get down and uh, set a set a good pace I think so 
Um, thanks to Kevin Rumley. It's been a while since I've been in dirt late model. So uh, we went to Kokomo last night and, and kind of knocked some rust off, which was good to do. And I'm um, glad to be back here at Falls. Uh, this, this atmosphere was amazing last year and winning it was great. But um, even if I didn't, I wanted to come back because this place is just so special and, and the crowd makes it what it is. So uh, packed place on the front, back stretch, three and four. Um, hate that I'm gonna miss all the parties tonight, but uh, I'll be on track and I don't know, probably nine or so hours. So uh, I'll have to hit the road here pretty quick and, and get back to Indy so we can try and be fast tomorrow. As often as I do it, it doesn't, uh, I don't really have to think about it a whole lot anymore, which is nice. Um, this is a really cool stretch of races for me. Uh, this starts, you know, I'm racing 10 out of the next 11 days in six different types of race cars on you know, pavement, dirt, wing, non-wing, all that late models. So um, a really cool, cool, thing for me and, and kind of to, to be diverse. Um, so, you know, I, I couldn't do it either without great corners and Kevin Rumley and, and great supporters too. So um, happy to, to park in victory lane tonight and, and look forward to coming back tomorrow after we hopefully get the pole in the cup car. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit dirtvision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit worldofoutlaws.com.